Okay guys, today we're back over on my Hero Academia Smash Tap. It has been a minute. It has been a really long time since I've actually uploaded this gameplay. Uh, I'm going to go and talk about why I stopped playing and why I'm bringing it back and all the other good stuff. But first I want to talk about the actual mission for everyone that's here for the mission and stuff and not here for me actually just talking. So this is pre-recorded gameplay of the Endeavor EX mission that came out this last Tuesday. It is half stamina, so this is the 40 stamina, not the G hero one where you get the extra hero medals. This is just the regular 40 stamina one, so it's not technically, it's not the hardest one that you can actually do, but this is the best one that you can farm. And since it is half stamina, it does help out a lot, because instead of doing 40 stamina run, you're actually using 20 stamina run. And farming in Smash Tap period is a lot funner in my opinion because you're able to get practically if you get the maximum number of drops you can you can get about eight plus uh, characters of whoever you're farming at the time if you, everyone has 99 luck and everyone gets two characters a piece you can get eight or more now if you hear some banging in the background that's actually thunder it's about to storm its ass off so I'm trying to really quickly get this video done for you guys but with the actual event itself the best thing for you to do is to avoid the fire and the knife guys they actually poison you the poison does about 50 damage a tick so make sure you try your best not to get poisoned the poison isn't going to screw you over too much the fire however does about a hundred or so damage a tick and that is just crazy so try your best to avoid the fire at all costs now another thing to mention is Gran Torino can practically one shot you and his smash attack is the same one as the um, as the first smash fest um, Gran Torino I believe anyway. He bounces around a lot just make sure you activate your smash attack when he activates his so that way you get those invincibility frames and you're not actually taking too much damage. And another thing to mention is Endeavor does about the same thing. You can easily tell when he's about to activate his smash attack, so make sure you activate yours to counter his or just dodge it. Now the Endeavor you can easily freeze him with the Fire Ice Todoroki or you can use the, I believe it's the Annie Deku or the Deku with like the red suit on or like the red shirt or whatever and you can immobilize them. So any immobilization characters are great for this mission and anyone that can help you to attack boost yourself. Running this mission with friends is actually fairly easy. Running it by yourself can be difficult if you don't have a unit that can actually heal himself. Running it with the new Bakugo is actually probably going to be your best bet. And running it maybe with like a Deku that can have any type of healing that will also help you a lot as well. Okay, now time for a quick explanation about why I stopped playing Smash Tap and how this video is going to be laid out. So number one, the reason I stopped playing Smash Tap is it kind of got stale. I was focusing on too much dual links and blazing and I kind of pushed my hero to the side because there wasn't really too much going on and plus around that same time is when I was in the process of moving and I was having a lot of schoolwork in between because the semester was coming to an end so I just completely stopped playing everything and that's when I took a break on YouTube and I just never brought my hero back to the channel. I still kept playing it. I, I brought up my hero my hero rank a good amount since my like last video up here. I farmed a crap ton of stones ready for the anniversary which we're going to be summoning on the select um, technique banner or the select green smash fest banner that comes out the 27th. We're going to be summoning on that for you guys so that's pretty hyped. And then the, the way the video is laid out, the reason it was pre-recorded is because I didn't know if I would have time to actually sit down and play today and record, so I wanted to go ahead and get it pre-recorded just in case I needed just to post the video. So that's enough of the explanation. I'll make sure to have timestamps for everyone down in the comment section so they can actually figure out when they want to click on the... So they know when to actually go for the overview. Okay, so let's go ahead and start the overview. The overview won't take too long at all. This is why I decided to keep them together. My box is still lacking a little bit. I need to get it up a little bit better, but it's getting there. So this is the Endeavor. Of course, he is an EX mission. He drops as a five star. He can go up to a six star. His art is pretty damn good. I really enjoy his art. I kind of enjoy his five star art a little bit more. You can see it in the thumbnail on the left side is his five star art. I might put his five star art on screen for you so y'all can see it. But I kind of like his five star art a little bit more. So as you can see, he can't go to 99 luck because of course he is a six star. I have him at 46 right now, which is pretty good. So. These stats, I'm always going to mention that these stats are base stats that you have here and then the green numbers 
are the actual stat boosting stats that you have by stat training so just ignore the green numbers they're not really too important for you guys so max health is 5477 max attack is 5642 SP is 178 and defense is 4434 now these attack stats and everything they're pretty dang good they're not that bad for a free to play unit I think he's actually pretty up there I think he may be an S tier or SS tier for the free to play units he's not like the best free to play unit but he is still pretty good now for his special or his smash attack is a punch with a fist of fire then releasing blue fire doing damage no burn which I find is stupid he doesn't leave burn like the Todoroki if when he does his um, first fire circle around him if you get hit by that it does leave burn on the units that you're fighting or the characters you're fighting he doesn't leave burn which I find really stupid he's a freaking fire character he shoots blue fire but it doesn't do any burn it is a long-range attack so you will be able to do a good amount of damage with it though and you won't have to be very close like you do with some units and his passive is immune to burn status and defense increased by 7%. So the de defense increase is always nice because units that have low defense, they die a lot faster. So if you can increase his defense as much as you can, it is very, very helpful. Now, one thing I do want to mention again, which I did not actually mention, so I don't know why I said I'll mention it again. But his special or his smash attack is 100 SP a go. And he has 178 SP, so that means you can only get one smash attack off at a time without gadgets or stat training. With my stat training, I have 100... Oh, y'all hear that thunder? That scared the living shit out of me. But with stat training, I have him at 189, so I'll only have to have like two extra hits to be able to do another smash attack. So with gadgets, you could easily get up to two or three smash attacks and go. But anyway, guys, since it sounds like it's about to like blow up outside, I'm gonna go ahead and end off the video here. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like, sub if you are new. Leave a like and a comment if you are enjoying the Smash Tap on the channel. Y'all want to see more Smash Tap? Y'all want to see the videos being separate to where like EX missions and then overviews? Or do you like them being together? And anyway, guys, I'll see you the fuck later. Peace.